ministers, distinguished guests. On behalf of Peace Islands Institute, I welcome you to this high-level reception and thank you for your participation. It is truly an honor for us to have you here tonight on this occasion of the United Nations 69th General Assembly. I also want to thank the esteemed Journalists and Writers Foundation for their collaboration in organizing tonight's, tonight's reception. What brings us together this evening is the opportunity to discuss how we can collectively advance the United Nations post-2015 development agenda by promoting education for sustained development. With the inspiration of our honorary president, Mr. Fethullah Gulen, we at Peace Islands have in the past and continue to organize for the future a diverse portfolio of programs, including policy reports, interfaith panels, grassroots projects, youth programs, disaster relief efforts, and international trips, all aimed at promoting peace and prosperity on a global scale. Just to name a few of our programs, Peace Islands Institute's UN Ambassadors Series has featured over 70 UN ambassadors from 40 different countries to review programs, identify gaps, and articulate innovative solutions with concrete steps to achieve the UN development goals. Although many of you already may know this, this year's ambassador series focused on issues affecting the African continent with an African Solutions to African Problems panel. Earlier this year, we also hosted a forum on girls' education in Afghanistan during the Commission on the Status of Women's 58th session. A few months later, we also hosted two forums at the UN on sustainable development goals. These scholars, excuse me, the scholars and diplomats who participated in these forums disseminated their findings to key decision makers and stakeholders around the globe. In a few months, we will launch the Young Peace Builders Program, which will recruit high school students from all over New York, giving them a chance to learn about the United Nations and global issues to increase their awareness and participation in global matters. These are just a few of the many programs organized this year alone by Peace Islands. As for our involvement with the United Nations, we at Peace Islands strongly believe that our world leaders can unite to uphold human dignity, the rule of law, and the principles of the United Nations Charter, which we strongly support. This is the reason that so many of our programs feature participation from the United Nations. We hope that tonight's reception will influence not only thought out, not only thought out leaders of the world, but other NGOs, philanthropists, the youth, and our fellow man in regard fellow man regarding the influence of education on sustainable development for the promotion of peace and prosperity. Again, I thank all of you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here with us tonight. Please enjoy the rest of the reception.